You're watching Yaush Reloaded. Welcome to Moab Mondays. What's up, Yaush Reloaded? It's Kostaf here, and I'm filling in for Gnarly Rick for this week's installment of Moab Mondays. Unfortunately, he had a family emergency come up, rendering him unable to produce this week's episode. So please head on over to his YouTube and or Twitter and leave him a supportive comment, letting him know that he's in your thoughts. But for today's episode, we have a ridiculous rushing double Moab by Bossit from Top Cod Replays. An absolutely ridiculous gameplay is pretty much defines what I would call a rushing Moab. He is constantly moving towards the end enemy, finds himself completely immersed in the enemy team multiple times, still pulls it out with the P90. A high intensity, very entertaining gameplay. I really hope you guys enjoy it. But before we get to the main topic of today's commentary, I wanted to throw a little Black Ops 2 discussion at you guys. Recently, Activision's Vice President of Production, Daniel Suarez, responded basically to the general community concerns after their trailer for Black Ops 2 had been released, that the game is going to be totally dominated by robots and drones and machines and all these other things they had in the trailer and he basically came on to do an interview to dispel those notions because really Call of Duty is just known for its classic infantry player versus player you know game style of running around on a map with a gun and not really truly relying on kill streaks. They're more of kind of like an after the fact effect of playing the game. Now if you watch the trailer you could think that you know they've changed the gameplay to having mostly kill streaks and that's really what you're going to be using to combat the enemy team. But he basically came on to say that is not the case. But really what I took from his interview, what may be different about kill streaks or maybe what they're trying to change without leading too much on in the interview, is that the kill streaks are going to be to use to combat other kill streaks in addition to the players, which is really something new for Call of Duty because if you haven't noticed, you very rarely have any kill streaks that fight other kill streaks. You can't have a Pavlo fighting an assault helicopter. You can't have an assault drone fighting, you know, a, a UAV. You really you don't have that present in Call of Duty. And I'm actually really excited that they're going to bring that into the game because my first reaction to the interview and the trailer was, um, oh no, you know, they're going to increase all these kill streaks and they're going to totally dominate the game because I you know I'm I love kill streaks don't get me wrong but I don't like having the whole game being centered around it you know I like player versus player games not player versus AI and Modern Warfare 3 kind of rubbed up against that with support streaks being that you know everybody could get a stealth bomber whenever they wanted and you know I get kind of tired of being pelted with that so I was really happy to watch that interview and have that notion dispelled I'm really excited for Black Ops 2 really want to hear what you guys think so please drop a comment below cue the little Moab guy love this dude He's funny. Now that is one beast, Moab. You're right. That was one hell of a beastie, Moab. I can't, I can't get enough of that little guy. I don't know why. But on to the main topic of today's discussion, I really wanted to talk about graduation. Because if you guys have been watching everyone's Twitter and YouTubes, everyone's graduating and it's so exciting. And I really wanted to say congratulations to everyone who's graduated, whether it be from high school, college, grad school. It's all amazing stuff. We're taking giant leaps in our lives because most of us are pretty young, just about to start our real lives. And I've just graduated law school or graduate school, so I'm right there in the boat with you. Really happy to be done with school. But if you guys are in high school, really your school career has just started because college is really where it's at. I hate to say it, high school doesn't mean anything. In four years, nothing you did in high school is going to matter. As soon as you get you know, any accomplishments in college, it wipes the slate clean. No more high school stuff. But I wanted to give a few hints and tips from my experience of going into college from high school because there's some things that counselors and teachers and parents don't tell you. Or maybe because your parents don't know and they get talked into it by the school. But little things that I found you know, absolutely you know, not worthwhile about college when I first got there. Meal plans. Don't get suckered into signing a year meal plan. Sign it for six months. See if you like it. Because believe it or not, you're going to get tired of eating that same stuff over and over and over after a couple weeks. And really, it is just a huge buffet. And unless you go to one of those amazing schools that has like a totally ridiculous uh, cafeteria, you're really going to get sick of eating at the resident dining halls all the time. So I usually, and it's really expensive, not to mention the meal plans are expensive. Um, so I really, really wanted to say, you know, don't go with that right away. And if you want to, you sign up for the shortest, you know, term possible, so that you can really see if you really want to live like that. Another thing I wanted to talk about was, you know, the real reason of college. Most people think it's just to get an education and go to class and stuff like that, and that is, you know, very, very important. Don't get me wrong, but it's by no means the main purpose of college. The main purpose of college is to get you out there on your own, see how you fit into this world socially, and see how you can interact with people, and really 
really you do a lot of growing in college. Now a lot of people you, know, you watch movies and some kids don't. You know they just go there and drink their asses off and don't ever go to class. But a lot of it's about maturing as an adult and becoming a real human being and stuff like that. So really don't lose focus of that. Don't go into college thinking you're only going to do schoolwork because that's not it. You really got to get out there and be social because no matter how smart you are, how many degrees you are, if you can't work with people, no one's going to hire you. And that's just the truth. And for all of us that just graduated from graduate school, we have some competitive times coming up against us. Because I don't know if you noticed, but when the economy dipped, graduate school applications went up between 15 and 20 percent. But hey, that doesn't matter because we're finally done with school. We've been in school for far too long. It's time to start earning some money and quit spending it. Here's another Moab guy. Now that is one beast, Moab. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. I hope you guys enjoyed having me on this episode. I'd really like to thank Gnarly Rick for inviting me to come special host this in his absence. I really enjoyed doing it. Please leave some comments below of what you guys thought. Please tell us any of your opinions on any of the things I covered. I really enjoyed being here with you guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. For more Beast Moabs, go to Gnarly Rick's channel.